denying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope, all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope that you will be able to join us later on when we do morning, afternoon, and evening prayer tomorrow. And that you will be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day. Three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If you have a prayer request, or if you'd like to find out more about our ministry, come by our website at sacredheartsjesus.org. That is sacredheartsjesus.org. When you get to our site, right on the homepage, there's a form. Fill out the form. I'll send you out some information about our ministry. And in addition to that, I'd include a copy of the daily prayers for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus so that you can follow along the prayers next time you do them. And also so that you can share these prayers with people in nursing homes, people who are in the hospital, people who are in assisted living facilities, people who might be in prison. You, the uh, possibilities are endless. There's many people out there right now who, for whatever reason, cannot make it to church or to a church or to a congregation or a congregational setting. And they still have that need to connect with the Lord. Well, this offers them the opportunity, these prayers offer them the opportunity to, to connect and grow in faith, whatever they might be. So this is a perfect thing to bring someone in that situation. If you have a ministry that deals with nursing homes or or assisted living facilities or a hospital ministry, some you know some people this is what they do as part of their ministry. Uh, perhaps a prison ministry. Well, guess what? Print some of these uh, copies of the daily prayers of the order of the, of the sacred heart of Jesus and bring them to people there. So, also if you take a second of your time and you click on the uh, share or reshare button of your application... And share this prayer with as many people as you can. The more people that you share the prayer with, the more people can join with us in prayer. And I tell you, there's power in prayer. There's tremendous power in prayer. Prayer can change things, especially us. So this is definitely a very critical and important ministry, especially 
in the times that we're living in, where there's so much chaos going on and so much suffering taking place and people are scared. Prayer can be that source, that fountain of hope and joy that is so desperately needed in our lives, in the lives of people around us. So you definitely, if you're looking for a ministry to be part of, you can join us. We're looking for people like you. And the beautiful thing about our ministry is you don't have to leave your current congregation. You don't have to leave your current denomination. We are an international denomination. People from all denominational affiliations are welcome to join in with us. So, if that's what you were fearing, if that's what was keeping you from moving forward, now you have the answer. You don't have to stop being a Lutheran or a Methodist or a Presbyterian or a Pentecostal or a Baptist or whatever denomination you are. We love all people. And more importantly, we love Jesus Christ. And that's the center of our ministry. And He is the center of your life. Again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. And I'll see you later.